Hello and welcome to the podcast, uh, The Junkies. I'm Dave O'Neill. And I'm Kitty Flanagan. This is the Sweet and Salty Roundabout with Possum and the Big Guy. Get on board. Get on board. <laughs> Bit of salt, bit of sweet, bit of sweet, bit of salt, something like that, <laughs> something like that. And look, um, we got a cracker of an episode today. We're gonna. Oh, my chips nearly fell over. Sorry, I, there might be a rustling there because a chip I nearly had a chip cavil. What is an avalanche on me? Chip so, avalanche. Um, I actually counted up the number of packets of chips in my house because I did that gig for Smiths. I've got ninety packets of chips in my house. <laughs> And if I have one packet a night, that'll get me to about December the first. So. And didn't didn't your partner say you had to share them with the neighbours and the kids yep. objected? Oh, <laughs> the man, kids reckon the they kids can get really through ninety packets up. of chips. Oh, we can get, we can do it. We can get through them. Tell me, come on. <laughs> you sent What's me a photo of the boxes arriving. It was like you were a pub oh, taking a delivery. Yes. It even came on yes. one of those dollies, like where they have to wheel in the boxes. I'm very yeah, yeah. jealous. <laughs> yeah, you can see the truck in the background with the guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just leave them there, mate. Leave them there. Anyway, so today we're going to start off, though, with biscuits. We yeah, we're some, going back to biscuits. We did some biscuits the other day, and we did Ice Vovos. And yes. on the Facebook group, and you can join it if, if you want. I'm certainly on there, and I tell Kitty what's going on there. And <laughs> someone found the biscuit you were talking about, Weston's. Because everyone thinks Ice Vovos had marshmallow. Yeah, but it's didn't. not true. Yeah, stop abusing Arnott's. Like for saying that they've changed the the ice flavor they, they haven't. Well, I found some called Strawberry Mallows, and they were by a yes, um, exactly a company called Paradise. They weren't a Western's biscuit; they were Paradise, whoever they are. Well, Western Strawberry Mallows. I'm looking at an old ad that Oliver f- uh, posted on her Facebook page. I'll hold it up. If, I don't know if you can see that, Kitty. Oh, I can't know where the camera because <laughs> we're in different states. See? That? Oh yeah, see that's that? them. That's yeah, the beautiful. Strawberry Mallow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that was those. a Western's biscuit. So don't get angry at uh, Arnott's. That, 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 that's what you were talking about. Yeah, but let's not forget also how well the original Iced Vovo came up in the test. We both went in thinking it wasn't going to be great. Yeah. And pleasantly surprised. I believe we gave it an 8.5 if memory serves. We we liked it. We liked yeah, it. Yeah, it, it was much good. better than I remembered. Well, this time around, we're going to do three more classics. We're going to do the hundreds and thousands. The Honey yep. Jumble, and then the Tiny Teddies, which by my tone of voice, you can tell, not <laughs> He's a fa- not going to like not them. Not a fan. Not a fan. Well, I just thought, Dave, that what we should do is we should finish off, we should round out the kids' biscuit category. Because yes. we kind of started with kids' biscuits with TikToks. Yes. And so I thought, let's let's finish off these, and then we can move on to other categories of biscuits in, in future episodes. Yeah, so what do you so want? So that's why I included the tiny teddies, even though knowing you weren't going to be a big fan of the tiny teddy. Because <laughs> as we know, I like a larger thing in my mouth, a bigger yeah. thing. Um, the tiny exactly. teddies are just, <laughs> they, they make me angry. But anyway, let's start with. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hundreds of thousands? Do you want to start with hundreds of thousands? Yeah, I do. Now, this is a biscuit that I didn't, mm. I never I never gave it much, much credit. And then the last time I had one, and I believe you're the same, the Qantas Lounge for some reason. Yes. Puts out hundreds and thousands of biscuits. And I yeah. always would walk past and go, what are they putting hundreds and thousands out? And then I had one. I went, you know what? I don't mind the hundreds and thousands of biscuits. Hey, I'm going to try one now because it's okay, got that I'll great pink icing. Mm. Crun- a lot of crunching, sorry. Well, yeah, so, and a, that, that's one of the good factors about this biscuit is the crunchy crunchy um, impact. It has quite a crunchy base doesn't it it's like i like the flavor of that pink icing it tastes yeah. like artificial yeah like that's the only flavor i can give it but i like it it's it's like kids birthday party just in a biscuit <laughs> it's not strawberry it's just the flavor of pink yes yeah you've already said <laughs> orange is a flavor and now pink's <laughs> yeah. a flavor and, yep. and and i've i've done a bit of lame research and I, there was oh, not good on you dave i love your lame research there's not much out there about hundreds and thousands or honey jumbles but what i establish is that they're both traditional biscuits made by your cwa types you know 50 100 years ago oh. and artists have basically adapted them but what i can tell i think they were just like a standard biscuit made and then they just went the oh. hundreds and thousands was a was like an old 
Well, CWA type well, biscuit. I, I, look, my, it's lame research, so let's not uh, hang my Sorry, hat on Sorry, you never that. want me to drill down. No, yeah, drill down. <laughs> I, I just get that. I get that vibe by looking at all the recipes for it. That it is an old. Yeah. It is a. It's like a variation of an old recipe because they've been around now, forever. Dave, been around forever. Mm. Well, while while we're talking lame research, I've actually got a lame theory. If you want to throw this in, yeah, because we've done quite a few kids' biscuits, and what I've noticed mm-hmm. about all of them is they don't dunk particularly well in that they don't soak up a lot of tea because no. of the hard icings. But I think they make these biscuits hard for kids to keep them occupied. Oh. Like once you get into the grown-up biscuits, you can pretty much just inhale those. So you want to be able to keep a kid occupied for at least a couple of minutes. If you're using a biscuit as a bribe, you want it to last a bit. So I think that's why they make them kind of hard and rusk-like. I, you, it's like a rusk. You can suck on it. Yeah. You can suck on this biscuit. <laughs> yeah. You can absolutely suck on that biscuit. That's a great theory. <laughs> That's like an insult. Why don't you suck on that biscuit? What would you give that out of 10, do you reckon, that one? Uh, look, it's. I'm probably going to mm. put it down with the TikTok, maybe a six and a half. Yeah, I was going seven. I was going seven. Yeah. I mean, I like it, and but I wouldn't buy them. I'll eat them in the Qantas Lounge, if the Qantas Lounge ever opens again. <laughs> I'll yeah. eat them. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy a packet of those. No, On the okay. upside, they will last a long time in my cupboard because by the time I've eaten one, I kind of go, oh, I think I'm sick of that. It takes yeah. me a long time to chew it. Yeah. As opposed to like some of the other biscuits we've had, TikToks, I, I eat two or three at a time. This one, I only ever eat one. So yeah, that's a, that's, one is enough. That's a big statement for the big guy, but that's... And same for the possum because, yeah. you know, I ate half a packet of TikToks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suck on it like a rusk, like I'm a baby again. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's move to honey jumbles. And again, this is like an, a very old fashioned biscuit with a white or a pink icing. There's a variation in the packet, I believe. Yeah, a lot of people would have made these. And I'm just oh, I'm just smelling it. It's a ginger. It's like a it's, gi- yeah. It's a beautiful gingerbread. It's even the texture of gingerbread, like it's soft. Which mm. I have said before. You know, I like a soft biscuit rather than a yeah. hard crunchy biscuit. I like them to be chewy. So the honey jumble is a favourite of mine, but I haven't had them for years. I didn't even know they still made them. I was surprised. Well, I think they've been brought back recently. I reckon you're right because they do that with biscuits. They bring them back. Um, now, this is – but also you say it's soft, but the icing's quite hard. Hard that's icing, like, but a soft like plaster. biscuit. <laughs> okay, shall we try it? <laughs> yeah, let's try Are you going pink or white? It's, I'm going pink. It's. I'm going white. That's all okay. that's left. The kids have eaten every other one. So. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's got a bit of a kick, hasn't it? Oh, I really love the ginger in that. And I love that you can chew it, whereas I don't like ginger nuts. You know those really hard ginger nuts? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan. They're too, too much ginger. You can sit that in a cup of tea mm. and, you know, then fish it out once you've finished drinking your tea and it's probably still got some bite of ginger nut, whereas that... Yeah. That is a deliciously soft gingerbread, I would almost call that. Yeah, I mean, you, the, 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 the warning is in the, the name of the biscuit, ginger nut. So it's kind yeah. of like, <laughs> I think it's saying to people, this is just for ginger nuts. You know, if, you're, yeah. if you love your ginger, get a ginger nut. But That if you, is really nice. I love the texture. I like, I like ginger as a, as a flavor, and I reckon mm. they've got the right amount in that biscuit. Yes, it's a very good amount of ginger. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I, not. I'm not as wrapped as you are. I'm not. Oh, really? Not as enamoured by that. If there mm. was, and this has actually happened in my house. If there was a one of them and a hundreds and thousands, I'd probably because I'm so basic. I'd probably go for the pink one because of the colours. Oh, yeah. Pink. I'd go for the hundreds and thousands. I reckon over a white ginger. Ginger. What are they called? Honey jumble. Honey jumble. Yeah, and and not to be confused with. And I remember someone asked me for a recipe for honey jumbles. And I went and found one because, like you say, this is a classic CWA yeah. biscuit and there are recipes for honey jumbles. And when I sent it to them, they said, no, that's not right. They're made of cornflakes. And it's like, uh, no, that's a honey, honey joy. joy. Yeah, I, I call them honey joy sometimes too. It's a honey joy is that thing made with cornflakes oh, and honey, we, which I never understood. If I went to a kid's party and they had honey joys instead of chocolate crackles, I wanted to flip that table. <laughs> I don't, so don't serve no. me this. This is like not fun. This is not fun. This is honey. And ah, uh, no, nah, honey and cornflakes, boo. Oh, we had, I had one the other day and I had one for years. It wasn't bad, I've got to say. I'd, a honey joy. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd always rather go the chocolate crackle. I love that kofa down the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And a bit of coconut sometimes oh, in the chocolate crackle is good too. I don't know what kofa is, but it's good stuff. <laughs> it's just candle wax. Yeah, I've I know. Told you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, choc tops. <laughs> choc tops have to use kofa or some kind of oil in there to get the to. Oh, to make it freeze. Yeah, yeah, and it's kofa oh, apparently. Choc tops. Oh, I love that. Is just top. my oh same. I will go to the cinema just for a choc. Oh, top. absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, there was a cinema. I used to live near one, and I used to go in and just buy an ice cream there oh, and see the movie. Same here. I, I, I go to the local <laughs> one and go get five ice creams. They, I think a lot of people do it these days. <laughs> don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Exactly. No, don't be ashamed. All right. Okay. All right, well, I, I might I might sit the honey jumble at a seven and a half. What are you going to give it? Um, 6.5. Oh, okay. Wow. It's, it's okay. just interesting. I mean. No, I understand it, Dave. I'll be honest with you. It didn't. I like them. They've got a good memory for me. I love the, you know, the soft gingerbreadiness of them. But I'm kind of with you. There's a lot of biscuits out there. I wouldn't buy these. Yeah. No. I'd be happy to eat one if they were served to me or if the Qantas Lounge wants to put them back yeah. in there. <laughs> they're not like those. <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah, I'm going to choose other biscuits over them. But yeah. they, I think they're, you know, a kid's fun fancy. Yeah. Give the give the licorice all sorts of break in the Qantas Lounge or the Jaffers. <laughs> or the Jaffers, yeah. Mm. Um, okay, well, the last one in this yeah, range okay. of well, this will be quick. Tiny teddies. Yeah. Now, um, there's a, <laughs> a famous story in our family. Um, my mother-in-law Betty, when these first came out, they came out in ninety. A bit of lame research. They came out in ninety-one, and it was actually apparently the idea of Scott Dewa, the biscuit designer's son who said he thought they should shrink the normal teddy bear biscuit into a bite-sized and cute tiny teddy. Wow, imagine if your kid said that, you'd disown Yeah, uh, I want to find Scott and um, have a <laughs> word to him. He's probably grown up now, I assume, because it was 91, so he'd be over 30, he'd be 40 probably now, still living <laughs> off his tiny teddy creation. And each biscuit has a... Uh, different faces apparently. Well, no, there's a. What does it? I didn't know that. No, there's a series. Like, um, there's happy, sleepy, grumpy, cheeky, silly, and hungry. Oh, oh God. I think all mine are the same. Oh, apparently, they're like the, the yeah, dwarfs, no. seven dwarfs. No, that's a lie. They're that's all the same. A lie, Dave. Oh, Scott. Oh no, hang on. I just know you're right. I just found yawny or sleepy. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah, yawning. yeah. He's yawning. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of. Oh, see, cute. suddenly you're having fun. Suddenly you're having fun with the tiny teddies. The, the story with that film is that when Betty she first got a packet in the nineties, she opened them up and she said, "Oh, you little buggers," because she th- <laughs> thought they were going to be covered in chocolate. She just assumed. Oh, yeah, because I got the chocolate flavor. They used to do just like a honey flavor, which I didn't mind, but. I only found the chocolate ones. Okay, well, let's have a tiny right. teddy. Let's... You might need to put four in, I think. Yeah, I reckon. Why don't you eat four? <laughs> you know what they taste like to me, Dave? And, what? And you can't say this anymore, but they taste like... Oh, yes, I can, because I remember the new name for them. They taste like scallywag biscuits. Oh, yeah, the old scallywag. They're just a miniature scallywag biscuit, yeah. which used to be called something else, but obviously not anymore. It's a scallywag. The scallywag. Um... Yeah. So that's what they taste like to me. Just a a plain biscuit. It's like an arrowroot biscuit or something. Yeah. Like, I, again, I think these are just things that you give your kids to shut them up. On a car trip, like a car trip biscuit. Yeah, you can throw a packet at them. Oh, nah. Try try and have some fun with. Did you get yawny or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What have you got, or whatever kids? they're called. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're try all they're all new these it, days. But... There's anxious. There's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there's a few new ones in there. Oh, look, there's OCD. Yeah, teddy there's there. anxious. There's, um, there's, anaphy- there's ADD. There's anaphylactic. ADD teddy. Anaphylactic. There's a lot of these. Anaphylactic. Anaphylactic. Um, I, 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 look, I don't want to go minus, but I'm tempted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tempted, but I want to be, I'll give him a two. I'm like David Stratton. A two? On the, a two, wow. two and a half, two. Okay. I, I would be really hard pushed to eat those. I would just. God, you're being like David Stratton, and I'm being yeah, like you're um, Margaret. Margaret today. You're Margaret. Yeah, because I'm going to I'm going to give them a four, oh. David. I'll give them a four. <laughs> All right. And, th- and then they used to say they used to absolutely bag their films. Oh, I gave well, no stars, and she go, "Well, I'm giving it two stars." And then you go, "We spoke to the director yesterday," and they cut to an interview. <laughs> some, some, this guy not knowing that they just slagged off his film. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's it. I mean, there are we are going to do because I did. Um, Kira, my partner, did buy some Venetians, but we are going to do a posh Ooh, yeah. section uh, eventually, aren't we? 
Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've got so many other types of biscuits. Yeah. There's fancy biscuits, there's cream biscuits, there's chocolate biscuits. I mean, yeah, we just had to finish, knock off these kids ones, yeah. and then we'll get into some others in future episodes. Okay, next next up, I'm excited about this. It's a big showdown. It's Mentos versus Cool Fruits slash Cool Mints. Okay, but we're just doing like for like. Oh, no, we're not. You've sent me... Um, I've sent you both. Oh, you sent me mints and, of both and the fruits of both. the fruits of both. of both. Fruits of both. The fruits, even though okay. I'm more a fruity person. I don't, I don't mind mints, but I'd always go the fruit. You realise this this was actually a foolish thing to do on a radio. Oh, because um, you've got to chew. Test. This is going to take a long time to get through each of these lollies. All right, well, let's... let's <laughs> Let's 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 start with the. So we better get into it. Let's start with the cool. Uh, let's start with cool fruits. Cool fruits. Cool fruits yeah, okay, are, that's a good idea. Because if we have a mint, you'll never taste anything else. Yeah, cool fruits are absolutely. I love cool fruits, and I was really surprised you could still get them because I used to love getting that yeah. that little container that not, the tin that tin at the cinema. Oh, and just on driving trips, you'd put it there in the, between you and the console, and just put your hand in. And the good yeah. the good thing about cool fruits, I've done. I've been trying them already prior. To, <laughs> Some, like with the tiny teddies, I like to remain untouched until I actually start the podcast with you, but I couldn't resist yep. the cool fruits and the flavors are great in cool fruits. Do you know what's also great about them? The smell is so oh. distinctive. Like you've put four lots of things in this bag, which obviously I wouldn't have done. I would have divided them all up. But you <laughs> <Yeah. know>. um, <laughs> I'm very slapdash when it comes to... But uh, I will say what's overpowering in there is the smell of the cool fruits. I'd know that smell anywhere. All right. Let's try cool it's fruit. Delicious. What what color have you got? Okay, I'm going to go for pink. I'm going to go orange. Okay. Mm. Move away. Take take your time. There'll be a lot of music. Yeah. Thanks, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> Great flavour. Mm. St- st- still on the roof of my mouth as I'm uh, yeah, talking. Yeah, I, I need a spittoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not because I'm not enjoying it, but just so I can talk. Mm. It's, um, again, I actually like the size of it too. I like a, that sort of size. I think that's quite good. Bigger than a piece of chewy, um, but, you know, not as big as like a gobstopper. I think it's a good no. size. And like the flavours are so distinctive in cool fruits. That is a great orange. Yeah. It's a really nice pink. Yeah. 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 Is that strawberry? You reckon it must be strawberry, the pink? Yeah, I think it is. There's mm. the, Oh, yeah, it's very definitely strawberry. I can taste the strawberryness. Mm. No, that's, that's, that's a nice lolly, but I feel like in this test I rushed it. What I would usually do is I would suck that for quite some time. Oh, would you? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I'd suck that for quite some time, then chew it. Uh, just to enjoy it because that's interesting. I used to always, I used to always worry about my tin running out. Yeah. You know, so I like to make them last a bit longer. <laughs> that's interesting because I'm just such an obliterator. I just like, oh. <laughs> do you do you take? I mean, I take. I'm quick when I eat a lot of. Are you a slow eater at dinner or? Yeah, I, I probably am. Yeah, I'm a fast eater. Not slow. I'm not annoying. No. You know, like where people have all finished their dinner and they're just waiting for you going, God, we'd love to order dessert if you'd yeah, just eat, hurry uh, up. Yeah, uh, meal. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, should we try a Mentos? Yep, hang on. I'm just got to get rid of the... Uh, <coughs> okay. I've still got some left. Hang oh, on. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay. Mm-mm-mm. Now, Mentos, Mentos, what country do you reckon Mentos? Because these were a recent... Uh, I mean, I remember Cool Fruits when I was a kid. Yeah. And I'm 50 in my 50s, so it was all, they were a 90s, 70s lolly, definitely around the 70s. Um, what do you reckon Mentos would have been introduced in the 90s, maybe? I remember a Mentos um, becoming, yeah, late. I would even say late 90s we, they came to Australia because they came with that um, weird American advertising yes. campaign. Yeah, and there'd be guys lifting cars up and stuff. 
And, w- and, the, and it was about the minty ones because it was always Mentos the fresh maker. And I used to go, what? what I don't even mean? know what that means. Mentos better, Mentos better. No, 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 that kind of tune. I remember writing. Yeah, and then he'd turn around with a tube of them and like sort of wink and freeze at the camera going, <laughs> the fresh maker. Yeah. And it just, now that you're saying they're not necessarily from America, no. you said they're from another country. Yeah. I'm thinking. Maybe it's even Japan. No. You know they often do those weird translation yeah. things. Yeah, the fr- yeah, you're right. The English is uh, murdered. Yeah. So it's like, no. oh no, fresh make is a word. It's like, no, it isn't. No, it's European. The Mentos. Oh, it's European. Mm. Oh, they're probably Swiss or something. Oh, close. They? Uh, Ooh, Dutch. Okay. They're Dutch. Oh, of course they are. Dutch. Mentos. Mentos. My lame research. I can only find the origin country was the Netherlands. So, yeah, Mentos. That's oh, it. Yes. The Mentos. Mentos. I guess I'm Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a Dutch accent, but um, I uh, I rem- it, those ads though because I remember writing parodies of those ads. It must have been for Full Frontal, so it must have been the late nineties. That oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. It would be. I just remember the big guys lifting up a car and moving it for a young lady. Yeah, it was a very weird campaign. Yeah. Did they give you fresh breath or strength? Or, yeah, yeah. It was. They couldn't decide. Yeah. Should we try one? Someone had too many ideas. Yeah, oh, I got a pink one. one. I got a pink okay. one. I got a pink one. Alrighty. I've got a yellow one. Oh, even though yellow always feels like it's going to be good and then it isn't. Mm. No, I'm spitting it out. Oh. I never like them. <laughs> mm. I don't mind it, but it's a, t- it's a taste of chemicals mm. to me. Yeah. I know. Hang on. I'll tell you what I don't like and why I'm spitting it out now. Mm-hmm. The reason I'll eat a whole packet of Mentos, because I will, um, if they're the only thing on offer, um, that each one leaves a really weird taste in your mouth. So you immediately have another one to get rid of the weird taste. Yeah. And like, they're okay until you get to the end and then you go, oh, there's that weird taste again. Got to keep eating. Yeah, right. That's the only reason I eat them is to get the weird taste of the other one out of my mouth. There is a weird taste in there. You're right. Yeah. Just when you get to the end, you go, yuck, what's in my mouth? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the size isn't right for me. It's I prefer the ball. <laughs> I don't like the cylinder UFO little thing. I don't like it. Well, it's like a ball that's been squashed. Yeah, yeah. So. It's not. It's not good. It's not good. The cool fruits are like an eight. They're like a five. Yeah. They're no good. They're no Cra- crazy. Crazy Dutch. The crazy Dutch. Them and their licorice. Their drop. Their salty licorice. Uh, I know. Well, see, that's the thing. You wouldn't you wouldn't trust the Dutch to make sweets, considering their licorice and what that tastes yeah, like. Yeah, the drop. <laughs> Have you had that salty? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I had it at a party Ooh. once for a Dutch girl, yeah. and I put my hand in. I, I, I took a big mouthful and went, "Oh!" And they were, all the Dutch people were laughing at me because yeah, they love it, don't they? Yeah, I oh, still got the they long. Love watching people <laughs> <laughs> <at you>. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're like they're like Nazis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I mean, they were, they were, they were, it's Colonel Clink. Yeah, it's Colonel Clink. I love Hogan's Heroes. Well, they were invaded by the Nazis, but anyway. Um, so, should we even do Cool Mints? I don't know. Is, well, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it's not really worth it, but I will say this. Mm. Um, cool Mints will beat Mentos any day. Cool Mints are so, they've got a beautiful sweetness. Yes, hands a down. Beautiful sweetness. They're the best of any mint, especially when you're a kid, because they're not like hot peppermints. Oh, I don't you know, like those. Yeah, that Nan would have. Oh no. Yeah, triple X just strength mints, and then you know, Grandma would have those or Lion mints. Now I want something. one. I'm going to try one. I'm going <laughs> to. And but cool mints are just, and when you suck a cool mint, beautiful sweetness. Oh, okay. Have you got a cool mint? Did I send you a cool mint? Yeah, you did. All right, I'm going to put one in, but I'm not having the Mentos. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my God, <laughs> my my cool mints have fallen out of my bag. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's the taste. That's the taste of a car trip. Yes, I'm. I'm flashing back to my and, nana's house. Yeah, and there's, you know, obviously everyone already knows that my mum would be in the passenger seat, doling those out one every hundred kilometres. Oh, really? Is, is <laughs> oh, that, yeah, just one. Is that what she did? Hmm. She dole them out, and she go make it last. There won't be another one for a while. Wow, that's like one an hour. <laughs> Probably not even, given how the speed limit. No, I was back then. then. Well, I, I heard this story is that the the mum would give, say, to the kids, all right, you've both got a pack of Smarties and you can have it at the end of the trip, but if you're naughty, I'm throwing a Smartie out the window every time you're naughty. Oh, that's, a, that's great. That's the new version. 
That is really good. No, my mum didn't dole them out one every hundred kilometres, but she used to. She did just put one in your hand every time. Yes. And and for a kid, the best bit is that first bit because the oh. sweetness gets all sucked off it. Then it turns a bit hot, and that's when you have to chew it. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a Mentos. Hang on, just mind my rustling. I'm, sure. I want to get I want to get a minty Mentos and see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I want to see what the difference is because I I am a true scientist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have to do too. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's just hot and pepperminty. That's on my, you know what that is? That's a fresh maker, whatever fresh maker means. (laughs) That's a fresh maker. I don't like it. Oh, I just, I I spat that on my plate with my tiny teddies. That is going straight (laughs) in the bin. (laughs) Straight into the spittoon. Oh, and it was hard too. A little bit hard. They're just, you don't get the sugariness of it. Oh, it's just, get it's out. all mint. All mint, no sugar. Get away. Oh, go back to Holland. I mean, I love. You know, if you'd given me that blind taste and I didn't know what it was, I would have assumed that was one of those sugarless lollies. Yes. And they are just... terrible. That is. Yeah, there's, there's no fun in that. I mean, I love the Dutch, but that's no good. That's no good. Yeah. They should stick to pancakes. Oh, yeah. And They're good at the pancakes. Canals and bikes. All right. <laughs> and all the other stereotypes. All right. Well, next, we have got a great, sweet, sweet memory. Yes. Yeah, now, I'm really excited about this. Now, these were, I was actually reminded of these by um, Chrissy Swan. I'm going to say friend of the show just because I want to yep, say friend of friend the show because I like it when we, people say that. Chrissy, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea if she listens or not. Look, she knows about it. She knows about it. Certainly. But I was talking to them and we were discussing, you know, favourite snacks from childhood. She, of course, brought up tubes, which have been brought up a few yeah. times by people. Tomato sauce flavoured sort of cheese. Tomato sauce or... flavoured weird mm. looking snack. And then this one came up, the chickadee. Oh, and it had now. I didn't even think they still made. No, these. of course not. And they, had, they were the very nineteen seventies, nineteen eighties, and it had the chicken on the packet, didn't it? Chickadee, yes. chickadee. Not, not just a chicken on the packet, Dave. I'm going to describe it for you. Hang on a second. I'm going to get it, get the box because you don't have the I box. Don't have I the just box. sent you some chickadees. Hang on. And I love a. Oh yes, I can see it. The green packet. I'll send you this so that you can put it up for people, but. On the packet of chickadees, it's the weirdest box. It's got a rooster for a start, and its legs are cooked drumsticks. But the rooster itself <laughs> is like walking around completely feathered. So his legs have been plucked and cooked, like deep fried. Oh. But he doesn't have feet. He's only got the bottom bits of the of the drumstick to walk on. <laughs> it's quite a horrific That's image. Some weird, some weird cult right there. Yeah. It's pretty odd. I don't remember that from the original um, chickadee. I don't remember ever being horrified as a child. I probably should have been, but I don't know. These I found in a, um, an IGA when I drove up north and I stopped in a place called Bulladeela, and Ooh. there's this little IGA that's in a shed. Oh. So these might actually be from the 1970s, Dave. We don't know. Chickadees. Um, and you've sent me some in a plastic bag, and I appreciate it. And Oh, the smell is incredible. The smell. I know. I've had to keep mine closed because I'm in a little studio and I know the minute I open them, the only thing we're going to smell is chickadees. So I'll just rustle a bit. They're like a Cheeto, aren't they? They're like a Cheeto, basically. Like a chicken-flavoured Cheeto, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. All right. I'm going to... Hang on. Let me rustle. Okay. okay. Ready? Yep. I'm going to try one. going to try right, one. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Man, they are good. That is so chickeny. That reminds me of the Easter show. Oh, the Easter show, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you used to get these at the Easter show, like in one of those, one of those show bags. Yeah. Maybe they came in the Cheetos bag or something. God, they're good. They are so good. That is a stronger chicken than a chicken twisty, I have to say. Oh, it's stronger than a chicken chip. It's stronger than a chicken twisty. That is, that's what you get when you, when you deep fry a rooster with drumstick legs <laughs> <laughs> that is just pure chicken oh man I'm, I, won't, wow. I won't be throwing them out they are great oh no i'm gonna i'm just gonna have a couple more they're quite delicious i mean that's that tastes more chicken than a chicken you know what i mean it's like double chicken mm. <laughs> it's chicken on chicken it's chicken on chicken it's chicken it's incredible and do you know what's interesting is no one's managed to match this because i sometimes when i buy cheetos 
And as I've said, I always like to buy, when I buy twisties, I buy cheese and chicken because I like to have a bit of a roundabout going. Yeah. And sometimes when I buy Cheetos, I, I try and find like chicken puffs, you know, like home yeah, brand ones yeah. often do like a chicken puff. Never as chickeny as that. No, that's incredible. They are. That is all yellow, all chicken, all the time. Man. That's what that is. They need a comeback. They're fantastic. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah. you know what else someone put on um, fa- a Facebook group? UFOs. Remember UFOs? Oh, vaguely. Yeah, yeah. They were, were they cheese flavored or chicken flavored? I, I think they had both, but they were in a silver packet, and they're similar and yeah. shaped like a UFO. Yes, I do remember. Yeah, they were yes. real. But th- those those ones, those chickadees, they are incredible. They're, but the, yeah, they're really good. I think with a bit of lame research, I have established that they are made by the Snack Food Australia who make cheesels and the much maligned Samboy Chip. So I do believe they're yes. not a priority at the moment. Again, yeah, I feel like that snack food company is responsible for burying a lot of good snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like to, I think we should try and get whoever runs that company. On the line. For an interview. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because. Let's see if we can talk to them and find out what's going on. Why are they burying the good ones? Is it like just a heritage thing? Like they just like them being there. Like a Daryl Brightway. Well, because they do chicken in a biscuit as well. Yeah. And chicken in a biscuit you can't get anymore. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, man, they are good. Well, that's the yeah. uh, podcast for today. And next time, I believe we're going to do our plain chocolate, milk chocolate test. Is that correct? A milk chocolate blind test where I've actually put them in packets so we don't know what we're tasting. It's really scientific, Oof. this test that's coming up. It's going to be proper blind. We don't know which one we're picking. Until the end, we'll reveal what is the best milk chocolate. And just milk chocolate that you can buy in the supermarket. We're not doing fancy brands. Yeah. Just supermarket milk chocolate. Oh, That's what's coming Can't wait. Up. I love milk chocolate <laughs> if you want to munch along. Well, thanks for listening to The Junkies. We'll see you next time.